Hello everyone and welcome back to the stream. So, last week we did two Castlevania Legacy of Darkness streams and completed Cornell's uh, story. So that went by pretty quickly. So now we uh, now I'd like to start on Henry's story. Let me just turn this music off so we can actually hear the game. So yeah, in the uh, seven years that have passed, it seems Henry has grown a suit of armor, so that's interesting. So let's see uh, how this will begin, or how this will go. This will begin. Very dramatic, very scary. So we, uh, yeah, we just had the Nintendo uh, Direct, which I'll talk about when we get to some gameplay. Transylvania, in the mid-19th century, the province of Wallachia. In this time of peace and plenty, no one foresees the return of ancient horrors, but the old legends live, and soon the land will again be plunged into darkness. The people have returned to the path of wickedness, and the... Sorry about that. <laughs> And the bonds that seal their evil ruler spirit are weakening. Deep in this castle, he stirs from a century of enforced sleep. Count Dracula awakes. The year was 1852, as Reinhard Schneider and Carrie Fernandez were locked in a battle to the death of Dracula, the church began a rescue mission. Henry was sent to save the kids in the castle. Will Henry be able to rescue all seven children, all six children within seven days? Okay, so I heard that this is basically a sort of single mission you need to do for him. Silent Forest, Castle Wall, annexed to the Evil Castle, Underground Passage, Underground Waterway, Outer Wall. A child can be rescued by speaking to him. So, um, Henry's thing is using a gun then? Okay. Basically all the levels are already completed and you are free to move between them, you're just looking for kids. Right. I don't think I've ever seen a knight with a gun before, but here you have it. Look at this man. Oh. Ah, uh, power up would be good. Yeah, I'm a little bit <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about the time limit though. I don't perform too well under pressure, I must say. Okay, at least this boss is still trivially easy like this. Okay. A save point. Huh. 
So are the children just at the end of the stage or are they in difficult to find places? They're actually very well hidden. That's uh that's a worry. Cause I'm not that good at finding them <laughs> finding stuff in general. <laughs> and I guess I can't expect the first one to be easy either. I'll tell you what, we'll just go through it naturally, and then if we can't find all the, uh... Yeah, it made sense for, the, uh, sense for them to be... Whoa. It makes sense for there to be one per stage, but... Yes, you have your wrestling moves, but I have a gun. And a, and a skirt. Yeah, knowing where to look, I mean... Yeah, like I said, we're gonna try to get through this one naturally. But if it doesn't... Uh, if it doesn't work... Like if I end up not, not uh, being able to save like even a few kids, I might have to... Uh, might have to resort to a guide or just... Get secret tips from you, of course. That works, too. Oh, right. This puzzle. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I actually thought that was normal ground for some reason. Rip, yes. Oh, and now the door has uh, been closed again. I should probably save after I do this. <laughs> oh hey, it's a notification. Oh hey, uh, thank you for the uh, subscription, Clive. It's much appreciated. I don't think, as an affiliate, I'm not sure if I actually get to have uh, loyalty badges. Would be fun to put a badge uh, like next to your name, but okay. So we can use sub weapons as normal. So yeah, the frustrating thing is right. Um, I don't know if I should go there to find the kid or down here to find the kid. Like, there's no way to tell. Like, we don't have, like, a kid radar or whatever.
It expects us to scour everywhere. Okay, so is this entire part of the map just pointless right now? Because it'll, like, go up later? You know what I say to that? Time wasted, so I'm gonna return to the save point. There is something here? What? Well, now I feel bad for jumping off. Oh, the correct... Uh, hmm... Hmm. Hmm, I say, firing my gun in random directions. I'm completely unconvinced by the way he holds his weapons. Also, this jump. Look at his arms. Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> Looks a little bit silly. But in a good way. If that crack wall is actually what I was supposed to be finding, then this is gonna be rough. Like I never would have seen that on my own. Oh, you're right, there is a crack wall. I don't know why I didn't see that. Um, it's like a sword uh, thing, right? Yeah, I've tried it. Oh, hey. A child. Anthony, thank you so much for saving me, double exclamation point. I knew you would come for me. When I grow up, I'm going to be a great soldier like you. Okay, that's pretty neat, though, but what now? So, do we go back now, or do we go forward? I'm like... Nervous to make any kind of decisions because time wasted is time wasted, right? You have to get him again if you die before saving, right? But what I'm wondering is should I go back and continue the stage as normal or do I need to be here? And get this switch I'm Trying to remember that I'm also gonna take a big sip of coffee Okay, I'll just go back the other way then, because I don't remember this very well. I'm not even sure if you're supposed to be able to make that. I like how he holds his gun up for a little bit. Right, so are all the... Are all the kids hidden behind, like, secret breakable walls? Because I certainly hope not. Because that one is already very well hidden for a stage one. It's like, you can't just take it easy on me, just put one behind like a wall somewhere. Some are on random tiny platforms, oh dear. That was probably not the right way to do this, but... Come on, just... Why, why did he have to climb along the side of it there? You need a first-person view for one of them? Okay. Hmm. So yeah, the, we just had the uh, Nintendo Direct. That was cool. That's not exactly what I wanted you to climb on, Henry, my boy.
This man can spin around in midair like it's nobody's business. Well, hey, it's a sub weapon. I'm not sure if this actually goes faster, but it looks delightfully silly, so we'll do it anyway. <laughs> there is some entertainment value in just running by an enemy and shooting it down, like... <laughs> so, unceremonious, just... Oh, hey, a skeleton. Okay, you have claws, but have you considered that I have a gun? So I'm not sure if I commented on it because I'm... Uh I can be pretty absent-minded and lose my thought mid-sentence, but I liked how the uh, little stage clear jingle that started in Super Castlevania plays when you s save one of the kids. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, wait a minute. We don't actually need to go into these buildings, right? <clears throat> so did I just run into the wrong direction there? Good idea, wasting all my precious time. <laughs> There, that's where I should have gone. Whoops. Well, mistakes were made. Okay, that was probably an even worse mistake, but... We still have the seven days left, so... No real progress was lost. I just need to be careful not to just walk into the water. Cornell didn't really have an excuse, but... Uh, well, Henry is wearing a... I would say full suit of armor, but it's more like half a suit of armor, but that would probably still make you sink. Probably. If I was able to jump over here, uh, that would have skipped a huge uh, chunk of the stage. Looks a bit uh, spooky though. It would be cool if it just skipped you to the next stage after you found the kid, but... I guess we need to show off our Castlevania skills some more. Mm. 
I wonder if we can buy stuff from the demon in this uh, adventure as well. I mean, it would be kind of strange because Henry is with the church, supposedly. Then again, he also has a gun, so maybe he doesn't really care too much about the church when it really comes down to it. If you could have uh, slightly fewer skeletons, that would be great. Oh, that's alright. No worries, uh, Clive. Okay, so it's night time now, so... Does that mean I've lost half a day on this? Or does that mean... Did we start at night? Because that would mean we're already... Yeah, we probably started at night, right? So we've probably already used up a whole day on this... Thing. Local knight shoots down a giant skeleton with a gun. Get a notification each time a full day has passed. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. And we haven't quite reached that point yet. So we should still be on par to uh, complete the stage in time. Because on average, we it, since there are seven days, you should be able to take a day and a bit about each, each uh, stage to get it done in time. Of course, this is the first one, so it would probably be better to be a bit quicker. Since it should theoretically be easier. There he goes, our brave knight. He really should cover up his, uh, his legs though. It's kind of a weak spot. Castle wall, right. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether it's day or night in this uh, version of the stage. In fact, you can just run out of here if you want. Because if you run through that door, the stage basically ends, right? Or is that the end of the stage? Or am I completely off base? I'm pretty sure that it is, but... So I'm pretty sure the kit will be somewhere inside here. It is, right. That's what I thought. It will be kind of mean... If the it, mm. I save the game, right? So we'll just have to. Uh... We'll just have to look around, and if too much time gets lost, we'll just return to the previous save and go straight for the kid next time. Now that you mentioned the first person perspective, I'm kind of trying to look out for it, but... Trying, no, trying to look out for a kid being like in a small secret space, like on a small hidden platform somewhere just out of reach. Although you don't need first person to look at this, uh, this tower, so... Oh, hey, we still have the seven days left, so we're still on par, shall we say. 
Like, is it is it easy to get them all? Oh, you mentioned that w that I'll probably find a few without too many problems. But I think it will be good to just keep trying in each stage until I have the kid. Just do this properly right out the gate. Like, if I had to think about where the kid is, there's this area where you kind of drop down after you reach the top. So maybe he or she is somewhere down there. You can't hurt me. Henry is practicing his tap dancing routine while we wait for the platform to move. What? I wonder if I could get crushed. I don't think so, the platform doesn't reach all the way to the wall, does it? Ow. I don't know why I did that. I panicked, I jumped twice, even though the first jump was perfectly fine. Maybe I'll just go here instead. Alright, oh, the more difficult one. They almost had me, but not quite. So yeah, that Nintendo Direct, huh? Um, in terms of the things I'm interested in, it definitely took a, a while to pick up the pace, but once it did pick up the pace, there was a lot to love. I mean, of course, Link's Awakening and the new, new Zelda are the main attractions here, but Luigi's Mansion 3 looks great. Well, I don't think most people would have su survived that, but Henry did. <laughs> Henry is just taking uh, quite a beating today. He was never the same after that situation with the chainsaw guy. <laughs> well. If you could actually reach the top of one of these places, that would be a start. <laughs> that, that was a that was more like a triple rip, really. <laughs> well. Henry praises the Lord while running up the stairs. When you have to save uh, save some kids in seven days, but you also want to do your prayers. <laughs> Just jumps up the stairs like that. Arms raised. Truly a devout man, this Henry. With a gun. 
I think that needs to be emphasized. Oh hey, we reached the top. How about that? Easy. First try. Um, I'm guessing they're not gonna make us fight the boss here, but... Oh, right, this. Uh, this doesn't need to be pushed, right? It's already activated. Right, 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 right. By the way, if something is hidden behind a very naughty, sneaky hidden wall... Okay, six days left. We'll, uh, we'll take that. We'll, we'll just save here. Maybe I shouldn't have saved there. I kind of did it instinctively. You know... I was looking at that bottle down there, and for a short while I thought it was a kid. I thought it was, I thought it was a kid with a goofy haircut, haircut, but it was really just a bottle, so... Basically a disappointment for everyone. Then again, it would be really tragic if you met a kid with a haircut like that. You could say that really bottlenecked our progress. So yeah, this is the room where I would have expected the kid to be, personally. On a first impression. Now you might be wondering, why did I do that? I ask because I don't know either. Oof. And here I was thinking, you know, we're gonna get through this one in one stream. Easy peasy. Just find some kids. Him. Oh right, we can pass b uh, back and forth between the level uh, boundaries to uh, to heal. Even if I find the kid at this point, I feel like I should probably just uh, go to the last save point because we've l used up so much time already. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Also, one thing we can't forget when talking about the uh, direct Banjo Kazooie for uh, for Smash. Wow, that was something. I think that's one people were really hoping for, so it was really cool to see. Oh, hey, this boss. They even look more like they did back in the day, I approve. Yeah, it's very nice. Ow. Okay, one dragon has been killed. Remember when I had some actual trouble with this boss using Cornell? First try, baby! <laughs> ha. So, yeah. Okay, Henry, we get it. See, this ultimately goes down to the same place, right? 
Because that's the other side of the tower, right? So... You can't actually shoot when your hand is in the wall, that's interesting. I guess it would make sense, but then again, it doesn't make sense that you can put your hand in the wall, so... Okay, well, I'm not seeing it so far. I doubt the kid is in a torch. That would be strange. And I doubt the kid is in one of these sacks. That would also be very strange. Ultimately, is this just not the place I'm looking for? If you see this coming at you, you'd better run. I mean, it looks cracked, but... That's cracked, too. Here I thought, you know, this level is nice and compact. It'll be easy to find the kid, at least. Nope. There is no easy. Now, on retrospect, I could have healed back there, but then again... I could just commit suicide instead, that works too. Okay, so... If I had a clearer idea of what I was looking for, that would be something, but... Oh, hey, look, it's a picture of the moon. You know where this one is. Well, I'm not going to say no to uh, some hints if you would like to help me out, because, uh, well... There's not really any skill or puzzle solving involved in finding them, I think. It's more like just knowing where they are or just trying stuff until you find them. So if you want to help out, I would really appreciate that. Because, uh, well... Oh, right, so I did think there might be a hidden thing on the middle pillar, but... You know, probably falling would probably be an easier way to return to the save point. But I'll just do this little dance. Come on. Okay, so, we already did the harder tower, so all we'd have to do is go back and check, I guess.
I just have to turn towards it. To oh. Well, that was close. I just have to turn towards it uh, regularly so as to actually see what's going on. Oh, hey, there you go. Okay, now that I know where the kid is, I'm gonna ho hop down to save some time. And just run for, for her next time. Yes, already I am learning the strats. Anyway, thanks for the uh, tip, Clive. It's much appreciated. Uh, whoops, sorry. Bess. You come to save me. This place is scary. Evil demons are all around. We should go home right away until mom and dad were okay. Um, I wonder if this works going the other way. It does, okay. Thank goodness. Okay, child saved. Okay, we are still uh, still on schedule, shall we say, to complete this in time. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to the mansion level. That's gonna be rough. What with the hedge maze? That's just gonna be a big old pile of misery. So those are some nice looking statues. This might be a situation where your close range weapon is actually better. You know, it's embarrassing, but I completely forgot about the whole recenter camera button until just now. Okay, so. If you guys could give me some space, that would be nice. It takes so many hits to kill, I feel like Cornell did way more damage. Like, even if the gun is pretty overpowered, the... I'm sorry, can we not? Might be good to heal a bit. Okay, so we're in the villa, basically. Um, and now we're gonna have to run around all over the stage trying to find the, uh, the kids. Using those uh, sun and moon thing cards seems like a foolish proposition when you already have little time. Then again, I'm not sure if you can actually use them, can you? So it just seems <laughs> like a use this item to lose, ha ha ha, thing. 
You can, okay, well. Seems like a bad idea, but I'll, uh... At least I have them, so... At least it's an option. Okay, very spooky. But did you did I mention that I have a gun? Exactly. That one definitely wins a lot of arguments, doesn't it? <laughs> hey there Invader Tech, welcome to the stream. And yes, they sure did. <laughs> there wasn't much competition though, to be fair. Yeah, man, they had, uh, they really brought, they really brought what they needed to bring, let's put it that way. Yeah, the banjo reveal, that was, uh, quite something. Okay, Clive, so I'm gonna, you don't need to give me any other hints yet, but I am gonna ask you a question and you can answer yes, no if you want. Is the kid in the hedge maze? If you remember anyway. If you don't, that's fine too. Yes. <laughs> that's pretty much 100% what I expected. Yeah, Banjo, and then there was that uh, Breath of the Wild sequel announcement with the uh, zombie Ganondorf. That was something. That was a whole lot of something. Uh, I just want to return to my prior save point, but just in case it's, uh, it's a bad idea, I'm going to make a very quick save state. Because you never know, after all. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, there's two more remaining now, right? Just two? Well, I mean... It is true that Banjo used to be Nintendo, yeah. <laughs> In a way, it's like a reunion, huh? And of course, they... Uh, they memed on us for first by having it be the Duck Hunt dog. Just like King DDD before it. <laughs> That's Sakurai. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if the duck hunt dog was really just the only thing there and then Sakurai pops up and says, never ask me for anything ever again. <laughs> that would be, uh, that would be something. Also, I am a knight in bare legs with a revolver for some reason. Welcome to Castlevania. That is true, they can just keep adding to this one, although they said there are only five uh, five of these packs coming. I wonder what's going to happen afterward. It's funny, this is where Henry was saved by Cornell. Must be a nostalgic experience for him. Unless this is a different Henry who incidentally has the same name, but... Wait, the kid was called Henry, right? I've not just... I've, or did I just imagine that whole thing? Well, if it's not Henry, this is just a random knight they pulled from somewhere, so it has to be. Yeah, same kid. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I just start to second-guess myself. A lot. 
It's probably one of my uh, worst problems. Like when I'm delivering mail, for example, I'll have like... I'll be absolutely sure I've got the right address, but then I'll get nervous and unsure because I don't see the sign for the street name. So I open the maps app <laughs> to check through GPS if I'm actually standing in front of the right address. It's terrible. I waste so much time being unsure. Clark, thank you so much for saving me. I knew you would come for me. That's what the other boy said too. Okay, now what we need to do here... Is find the exit, right? Like the one where the, the woman gave us a key, the lady. The in the in the in Cornell's campaign, the lady of the house gave us a key. Was it for this door, perhaps? Okay, right. This is where we need to go. But yeah, so I wonder if they'll keep adding to this new uh, smash. Whoa, did I just walk back into the hedge maze? As for the other three stages, the one you enter depends on the time of day you enter the coven at the end. You can teleport back out and repeat until you have them all. Whoa. That's a bit complicated. So we need to go in there at certain times and then go back out and in at other times. Why did they have to make it so complicated? <laughs> well, it's not that complicated. I just like to over... Uh, Wait, is over-exaggerated a, a tautology? Is that like a double thing? You know? You know what the big problem is? With, um... Yes, I just loaded... But basically, I just loaded the wrong state. Uh, this is why you don't mess with save states. I was going to make a quick save state, even though I have not used the save state for loading yet. And I accidentally loaded it. I get punished for my for my sinful behavior clearly. But right, so we need to keep an eye on when we enter the coffin. So daytime and nighttime sure, but is there another like hmm. Does it like distinguish between morning and evening or Let's just hop in there and see what happens. Every eight hours, so it's 13.10 or 1 p.m. now. Or rather 10 past 10 p.m. Ding dong, Windows 10 says. Windows 10 really wants you to know it exists. And that really is the problem, isn't it? Okay, this time safe state. There we go. And now we probably won't need that, but you know how it is. Huh. 
You know how, how some stages just make a certain first impression? Well, that, that was that was a first impression and a half. Right, so that's how this level is gonna play. Okay. Um, I felt like he stopped climbing, but maybe I just did, didn't push hard enough. <laughs> He, he stops here, I don't know what- Oh! I have to hold, like, up and right now, because that makes- Sense? Okay, then. So that jewel teleports you out. <laughs> Indeed, they teleport me back out. Right. I have experienced this uh, firsthand now. Is this a new stage, or am I just being extremely forgetful again? Ah, right. It's uh, it's a unique stage for all the other characters, right? Kind of weird to do it in this order, isn't it? But I'm guessing that switch actually does something in the the carry version of the level. You really think your flimsy shield is gonna help against a gun? You silly lizard man. Okay. The years stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Edward. Surprisingly easy. Um, so... You know what the real problem is at this point? Is how do I get out of this stage? 
Where's the end of this? Because this is not one of those convenient stages where the end is right by the uh, entrance. You just need to figure out how to open it, right? Or is it? Maybe it is. Oh, well, there's a safe crystal there. Oh, I have also been poisoned and did not notice. But at least I didn't need the chat to tell me this time. Oh, right, I could just go to the teleport at this uh, stage. You raise a good point. Let's do that then. After all, we don't really need to complete this stage. It's not even our stage. It's Gary's stage. And you don't take someone else's stage. Whoosh. Okay, that is four kids uh, out of six saved, right? Four of them. Okay. Well, it's night now, so I'm assuming this will get us into a different version of the stage. It does. Uh oh. Well, this is worrying. And this stage is tough enough when you're not looking for kids. I mean, this was Cornell's, right? Or am I just... It's going pretty well. That's mostly thanks to your help, I'm assuming. Because uh, that one in the first stage, I never would have found. The one behind the wall. Like the other ones, maybe, eventually, but... Compelling gameplay. Some Henry on ledge climbing action going on here. This feels like the kind of stage where they would pull something really nasty on me, like having the kid on a tiny little platform or something. I mean, I doubt the kid is in here. Yeah, no. No children in here, just saws. And not the good kind. Right, so we are still ahead of... Schedule. Did I... Okay, either that's another bottle or a kid with a funny haircut. Let me just... It is a kid with a funny haircut. Hello! Florence. Time to uh, head back to the uh, teleporter, I guess. Well, hey, that leaves just one. That one took you the longest? Okay. 
Well, it's a good thing I have a sharp eye for kids with funny haircuts, because I always point to laugh at them when I see them. Not really, but... <laughs> I basically just saw her by pure luck. Once again, we are faced with some compelling gameplay. Well, that almost went wrong. I mean, it did waste time, so I guess you could say it went a little wrong. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so... Five kids saved, one kid left. Let me just quickly... Definitely not make a save state. Because this is a legitimate Nintendo 64. Or other legal means of playing this game. TM. So. If I hop in there now, what will happen? Well. Seems like we're right, uh, right where we need to be. Oh, I thought it was a thing to climb on, but... Okay, it seems I died. So we have five days to find this one kid. I'd rate my chances pretty good at this rate. Yeah, just keep moving, don't... Uh... Just making sure they haven't hidden the kid right above the spikes. Like a bunch of devious deviants. Okay, I'll jump over it then. If that's what you want. So I'm guessing this is Reinhardt's unique stage then. Must be poisoned from water from this river. I mean, that does tell me I shouldn't get into this water, but... I wasn't really planning to anyway, since water has been a universally bad idea for our... Uh, our both our characters so far. This feels like the kind of stage where they'd hide the kid behind another hidden wall. I say that because there is a lot of wall and not a lot of verticality. A spider person? This is a suspicious. Uh, wow, well, words. This is a suspicious part of the stage, but it doesn't look like there's there's actually any hidden walls here. I'm so flustered. I'm starting to lose my ability to speak English. That's how bad it is. I like how she has eight legs, but still has to fight with like a halberd or spear. Just use, just use your spider powers. 
What's the point of using like a flimsy weapon when you are a uh, natural killing machine? Doesn't make much much sense to me, but I don't know whether to go left or right. I'm guessing you're supposed to not know, but I don't really like that. Hmm. Nothing here, huh? One would assume that this little pedestal has an item for uh, Reinhardt, then. Also, you know there. You know how sometimes you associate two things, even though they're not the same. So when you said Reinhardt, for some reason, I thought Re uh, Richter, because they're both German names. I know that's kind of. Uh, I mean, it's not like all German names sound apart, but uh, sound. <laughs> it's not like they all sound apart. It's not like they all sound the same, but for some reason I just mixed the two up in my head. What is this infinite bat spawning? Moonlight releases the seal. Um, okay. I need to try to keep the hints to a minimum, but is the kid behind there? Behind the moon seal? Because that's the first time I've actually seen a day and night seal. Because they consciously removed the one from the tower stage. So it makes me wonder if there's uh, a secret purpose to this one. So if you happen to know if the kid is behind there, that would be good to know. Okay, so the kid could be behind this one, basically, but you're not sure. Okay. Mm. Well, we saved, so we might as well just... Well, there is a contract here. Oh, can we just... He hasn't even introduced himself and we're also working with the church. But we can just buy from Demon Man? Okay. Henry's gonna have to uh, explain a lot to uh, the church people, I'm guessing. Oh. Well, that puts us right back at the start of this one.
Okay, I need to get a bit more accustomed to this stage, I think. I guess I'll just save here. We have so much time uh, left on the clock. We might as well just save wherever we can and not cause ourselves any inconveniences. Dead Eye Henry, the fastest gun in the West. Or, uh, wait, this is Eastern Europe, right? That's still relatively Western, though, so... Let's just say West. Almost made the same mistake again. This kid, I wonder if it's gonna be more beneficial to actually try to get to the end of the stage rather than going back. Since it's so uh, far from the entrance. Huh? Oh, this is another thing. Okay, that platform is suspect. What is it for? I'm not sure if it's the answer to our problems or if it's something our uh, buddy Reinhardt would uh, need. Well, <laughs> it's not the answer to our problems. That's much uh, that much is sure. Huh. Now we already opened this one, didn't we? Even so, I will still double check to make sure. Yeah, it's just the, uh, the demon door. Okay, so we walk around to this side. Does this thing actually say anything? Nope. Okay, so this is the only way forward as far as we know. Well, not 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 exactly that, but <laughs> so I have experienced some uh, wacky stuff on my uh, mail delivery adventures, which makes me wonder if I should write a blog about it. It's not that entertaining, but stuff certainly does happen when you are a mailman. But it's usually like just goofy stuff. Last, uh, when was it? Last week? I'm not sure which day it was because my memory is terrible, but. Oh, it was actually Saturday. So, Saturday. I got jumped by a big black dog. It was a bit scary. 
I was like, no, I'm just gonna ignore the Medusa head. If I move fast enough, it'll just... <laughs> it'll just go away. But nope, it follows. It follows you. Darn those Medusa heads. Following me even into 3D. Curse you. <laughs> I like how he how he turned around and started flying away when I drew my gun on him. Like, oh, oh no! <laughs> I thought it was a knight, but he has a gun. Local knight walks by shuffling his legs ever so slightly. Thank goodness for his uh, for his auto aiming there. Okay, this is one of the harder ones to find so far. Wait, is this the beginning of the stage or the end? Because the beginning of the stage had a part like this too. Did we just walk around in a big circle? A circle of the moon? Perhaps. Oh, hey. Um, it is daytime, so open, please. Okay, can we not? Roast beef. Okay, but that doesn't look like there's any kids here. No one to save. That just leaves the, uh... The part that with the, uh... Guillotines, I guess. Yeah, this part. Oh darn, this actually is the beginning of the stage, isn't it? Is it not? It might actually not be. I've always hated this level, I see. It makes sense, it's pretty confusing, and some rooms look uh, the same. Did you have any particularly negative experiences with it? It's definitely easy to get turned around. Did it actually properly bring us back to the start there?
Everywhere looks the same, it goes on for ages, this tramway section is dumb, the water bridges are too small, etc. Yep. <laughs> Agree to all. I'm guessing it's worse when you're actually playing it as the intended character though. Because we can kind of tear through it with our buddy Henry here. Now I know which one to very much not look forward to when I play it as uh, as Reinhardt. Christmas 2! Might as well save. Of course, they couldn't hide the kit near the start of the stage or something. After the uh, very mean, the very mean hiding place in the first stage, I can't trust walls anymore. Alright, it should be in this section somewhere. Alright, that makes sense. Though it's kind of mean that they make you go this far. Then I'm probably going to assume it's behind here. Or not. Like, do let me know if I just skip a really obvious child standing right in front of me. <laughs> just in case. I can overlook some really obvious things at times. My perception isn't always uh, as good as I'd like it to be. This is where we came from, right? Have I possibly gone batty? What is this? What's this? I believe in the original lyrics he actually says Daffy, but... Um, um, I don't think this was the intention. Maybe I should have saved at the crystal or something. Okay, that was mean. Okay, so we need to avoid the sun door if possible. So that's the actual end, at least that's good to know. Ok, 
Okay, so we should try to go forward instead, I suppose. If I had a penny for every time that happened, I could probably buy like a coffee or two. Well, hey, if we can find the kid, we can at least close off this campaign. Uh on this stream and then we'll see we'll probably make a start on the next one but i'm going to <laughs> wager a guess that we won't finish it i'm probably not going to try either it's uh you can't rush this sort of thing you know So remember kids, if any ghosts ever harass you, just shoot them with a gun. Just uh, pop a cap in them. A shovel. Dead man. I haven't the faintest clue where to go. Because I feel like that would just lead me back. So we'll go to the right from the shovel instead, and there's a save point there. Okay, so is this sun door going to be a sin door that sends me to the end of the level? It doesn't look like it. But it doesn't look like a particularly useful room either. Hmm. How many of these do doors do they have here? Yeesh. That kid had better be behind this door or I will be upset. Okay, there you are. It's about to say, gosh dang. Did they just cut off the fanfare? How dare you? A deafening roar shakes the region as the evil castle begins to crumble. 
Henry escapes just as the evil castle collapses, mainly because he was in a completely different location. The castle sinking into the shimmering lake marks the end of the war with evil. Until the next game, anyway. Owing to Henry's great exploits, all six kidnapped children were rescued. Henry. Oh, you're all okay. Shall we go back to town? Your families are worried sick. The morning sun lit up the strong, gentle features of Henry's beaming face. What is this, a fan fiction? Oh, hey, that was pretty cool. Um... I like this kind of thing in concept, but um, slapping a time limit on there and hiding like kids behind walls or on tiny little uh, platforms is a bit... Mm. Like, I find the idea of revisiting older stages for a kind of hide-and-seek game pretty cool. But having, like, seven days to do all of it, like, with time carrying over, it's a bit... Mm. So, pretty fun concept, pretty weak execution. I'm just grateful you were here, Clive, to give me some, <laughs> some pointers. And thank you. Yes, it went pretty well, all in all. I don't really know what else to say about the uh, the campaign. It was pretty fun, I guess. Um, both characters we've played as uh, both had a mostly ranged attack. And that was particularly true of Henry, who has an actual gun. So that was... Uh, Fundamentally, he felt a bit more sluggish, I guess, than Cornell, but maybe that's just psychology because he's wearing armor, so I imagine that. Even though he was was only, like, wearing pants. Carrie's attack is also ranged and even more OP, so maybe Reinhardt next. Oh, you can play both of them out of order? Will it just unlock both of them? I had expected uh, both of them to uh, unlock after one another, so first carry, then Reinhardt, or vice versa. One child per unlock, should tell you what you get in a sec. Okay, we'll see. Finn. You can use, okay, hard mode, you can use Cornell's second costume. Aw, oh, yeah. Push your control stick up to play, change the costume in player select. You can use Reinhardt. You can use Carrie. You can use Reinhardt's second costume. You can use Carrie's second costume. Okay, so you don't actually need all six kids. Like having... Pant, pant, pant. Uh, you could have just done uh, like four of them, for example, and that would have at least unlocked the associated campaigns. So, right. Um, it revealed Reinhardt first, which makes me think he's canonically the next one I should do. Is that true or does it not actually matter all that much? Oh, 
Ah, oh, right. It's kind of a weird order, though. You know, it's kind of a shame we can't see how the other costume looks. And Henry doesn't even get an alternate costume. That's a shame. Henry gets left behind again. Anyway, we'll go for Reinhardt then. Transylvania. In the mid 19th century, the province of Wallachia. Wallachia. They said the name of it a lot in the uh, in the animation. But this part is the same for everyone, right? So just wait until any something comes up about Reinhardt. <laughs> Reinhard Schneider Arnold Schwarzenegger Heir to the ancient Belmont clan of Vampire Hunter His blood dooms him to oppose the might of Count Dracula Wielding the holy whip of his ancestors The young vampire killer begins his quest With his pointy hair So why, why is he called Sh Schneider then if he's if he's a Belmont Everything is basically the same until the fill out right I too like to climb chains while uh, stepping of my left foot on plain air. Okay, so he whips. That's clear enough. It doesn't quite have the range of the gun, but I do like uh, I do like it. And he also just has a sword because, well. An old magazine you had referred to him as Reinhardt, Schneider, Belmont, Schwarzenegger the third. No, <laughs> I made those last two up, I'm sorry. So Reinhardt, Schneider, Belmont, that's interesting. Yeah, that just sounds, the Schne Reinhardt Schneider just sounds like someone trying to make up an overly German name. Right, so for these characters, the stages aren't gonna be wide open the way the other one, uh, the way they were for Henry. So we're gonna need to actually do stuff, <laughs> like solve puzzles. But that's pretty interesting. Of course, you can't always trust those magazines, they'll print anything. Honestly, though, I'm just grateful there's no time limit. They all have that same problem of having a single grunt voice clip when you pick stuff up. So it's really awkward when you uh, climb along walls or pick up a lot of items in rapid succession.
Okay, the deck key. So we can get in the deck now. You know, that noise, that monster noise, is like from a sound library or something, right? Because I've heard it a lot, especially on the N64, too. Like, there's a Scooby-Doo game for the console that I uh, used to play a lot. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Maybe I should play it on stream once, like the... Uh, what's it called? Classic Creep Capers, I think. It's something, alright. I hope I'll find some power up soon because this, uh. Well, 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 well. speak of the devil. Oh, hey, and it changes the look of your whip, too. That's a nice deedle. De deedle. What am I even saying? That's a nice detail. I have lost the ability to art articulate words clearly. It's, be it be it's because I watched the uh, Nintendo Direct. I got too excited and now my ability to speak is broken. Deedal sounds like an off-brand uh, supermarket. Even with the whip, <laughs> I can still miss miss uh, barrels several times in a row before finally breaking them. What's it made of now? It's just, it's just a lightsaber whip now. Hmm. So we did have some cutscenes for Henry, but nothing with actual dialogue, like uh, except the very final one where they. Uh, they made a point of describing his his gentle features. So I wonder how the cutscenes have changed for uh, Reinhardt. Okay, here we go. Well, another ship has, uh has been delegated to Davy Jones's locker, as they say. But this is... Uh, okay, I know... They're just reusing the first stage from Cornell. Or maybe Cornell reuses the first stage from... Him. But this is supposed to be seven years after that, right? Like... Maybe I'm just going crazy here, but I thought that was... What? <laughs> Did you see that? I almost jumped myself right off the edge there. Okay, this is where the first boss happens.
Well, we're immediately having the roast chicken. We are a Belmont after all. Of course, the whip is probably a better weapon to use here, but... Oh, the slimes. Ew. I had some trouble with this boss battle the first time, but... Yeah, when he actually grabs hold of you, you're basically done. And you just need to sit out his uh, his dramatic animation where he looks at you. It's always kind of horrible, but at the same time there's something to be said for games that have cool death animations. It's pretty horrific, but um, Dead Space has some pretty admirable effort spent on uh, on the death animations. Like, specific enemies are very specific, very nasty ways to kill you. Or to kill Isaac, rather. All oh, right, it just grows back. I somehow managed to not jump over that, so that's a shame. Get out of here. Forest of Silence. Not for long. <laughs> you want to know why uh, why Reinhard like Reinhard likes cake? Because there's whipped cream on it. Honestly, I'm just happy I don't have to... <laughs> I mean, I already said this about the time limit, but I'm happy I don't have a time limit. Limit? Limit. And I'm also happy... Ha happy. <laughs> Can I say any letters properly anymore? Yes, hello, words. Um, I'm just happy there's one, no time limit, and two, no kids to find. I feel like things will at least kind of point themselves out eventually. The path will be fairly straightforward, especially since I know most of the stages. Oh, hi there. Okay, well, we've already fought this guy before uh, today and we'll fight him again. Uh, as you mentioned, this uh, first part is basically the same. It's gonna change at when we're at the villa. It would make sense since that's one of the first instances where we actually talk to other people. I wonder if at this stage in time the woman has also become a uh, vampire. That would be an interesting story of progression. He's having a temper tantrum. Mm. 
Right, we already know the thing about the Sage. That's all good. <laughs> Let's try to get through this stage with some speed. Whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just checking if we were dropping any frames. Uh, we've actually had, uh, like I said, we've had basically perfect, uh, in terms of bitrate anyway, perfect streams for a couple months, maybe more. But then last time there were a few frames dropped. Like, insignificant amount, like like 60 or, or so frames, which is barely, uh, not even 3 seconds, but... Still worried me a little bit. It might have just been Twitch, but... Then why would OBS be showing dropped frames? I don't know. This is all familiar territory, so... Can we... please... Oh man, that was a bit loud, wasn't it? Okay, the path is open. That almost went wrong. <laughs> well, hey, so long as the almost, uh, almost wrong outweighs the actual wrong, it's all good with me. See, I don't know how many more, uh, how many more streams there will be this week. Uh, I have the. Powerful lightning whip again. To acquire bacon, that's a good cause. He has the uh, same jumping animation that uh, Henry does. Question is, who is the student and who is the teacher? I see the puppet, but where is the puppeteer? It'll be a good idea to collect as many items as we can and that we're not pressed for time. The triple X. 
truly the most mature uh, weapon setup. Triple X. So yeah, the uh, the three presentation had a lot of good stuff for uh, our friends at Nintendo, but. There are definitely some things that were, well, missing in action, I guess. For example, uh, we haven't heard about Pikmin for such a long time now. It's supposed to be a uh, Pikmin 4, but... Well, maybe they just kind of can't that after the uh, weird spin-off didn't sell. Who knows? <laughs> the inner workings of Nintendo are a mystery to everyone. Even to Nintendo. Yeah, other things I would have liked to see but that I couldn't have reasonably expected are um, something Ace Attorney. It's one of my uh, all-time favorite series, and we didn't really get to see Can you stop that? And we didn't really get to see anything from that. But, but like I said, uh, that's not really Nintendo's domain, that's Capcom's domain, so... Okay. The whip's pretty good, too. <laughs> well, a fully upgraded whip, anyway. It's tempting to set a goal for how far to get, but I think I'll just play until my time runs out. In a certain sense. Okay. Ow. Well, I just did that, I guess. <laughs> nah, this guy is again. about to say why am I not hitting him? <laughs> it's probably just standing in the wrong uh, place in the wrong spot oh there <laughs> there goes his uh, his arm I hadn't noticed that it's still moving that's cool Oh, 
Come on. There we go. And down it goes. Okay, <laughs> it does have roast chicken in its mouth, just like you uh, you said. On uh, it wasn't that way on Cornell's playthrough, but it definitely is for the other ones. Actually, I didn't test with Henry. I should have tested with Henry. I guess a skeleton's got to eat too. Dramatic walk. I wonder if there's gonna be a cutscene because uh, Cornell had his own little conflict with that other character, that uh, lycanthrope, but. Okay, interestingly enough, um, it also doesn't seem to matter whether it's day or night for these versions of the doors. But it is a few layers, layers. It's a few years later, so it makes sense they would modernize eventually. Having time-based doors is just so... Seven years ago, you know? It's just so 1800, whatever. There. Okay, that wasn't good. I was I was yawning up a storm there. I hope you couldn't hear that on the uh, on the microphone. <laughs> it was a pretty uh, pretty tough day. It went well in the end, but there was definitely a lot of uh, work to do, basically. Oh right, so I'm not. This is probably not something to discuss on stream too much, but remember when there was a customer I complained about a lot? Well, there's an update on that situation, but I'll probably just not share that on stream. So that'll be a... It'll be one of those things that to people who have only watched the YouTube channel will be lost to time. Actually, I guess I can... I mean... Well, that moment when you're deciding on the spot whether or not you should be talking about something. Yeah, I guess I can give a very general overview. Basically, had, an, had a difficult client. Um, things did not go well, but today I got like... Kind of an apology email, which is... Not what I ever expected, but I guess it's welcome. So yeah, I guess that wasn't that interesting and also not that much of a problem to actually mention on stream either. As long as we're keeping every all parties involved anonymous, except for myself. Since you already know who I am. <laughs> I 
Okay, now he's gonna be uh, annoying. go There we go. I still remember how this stage works. It's not that hard. <laughs> you know, in spite of the fact that the other weapons are probably more useful on an objective level, I still really rather enjoy uh, the whip as a weapon. It looks cool at the very least. I was told that this is the most difficult character though, so I am worried about the later levels in particular. Especially now that I've had just a taste of that, uh, like, mine level. It's so confusing and sprawling and complicated. I guess I shouldn't worry too much, though. Oh, I am fully upgraded already. Plus, Gary and Reinhardt both have to do the boom boom stage. Oh dear. The infamous. Truly the most infamous of infamous stages. I remember bare. I, I barely remember anything from that. I just remember that it ex like the thing you carry explodes when you jump. Is that correct? It is. Oh. Welp. Gotta love that. It's funny, I didn't even know this one was locked. I just picked one, which I th picked the one I wanted. And it kind of turned out all convenient. There is a, uh, a side quest in uh, Hollow Knight. It's not that important to do except for your own closure, but there's someone who wants to bring, basically wants you to bring a flower, except the flower is super fragile. So one, you can't, can't fast travel, because that'll break the flower and you can't get hit at all. So you have to travel all the way across the map without taking a single hit for that one. And I decided, no. <laughs> yeah, I decided not to, not to spend too much effort on that. I like having fun, <laughs> as you can see. As you can see. <laughs> Sometimes I think I just need to shut my mouth because I'm gonna jinx myself one way or another. <laughs> Yeah, missions where you can't get hit as one thing. Did I save? I did. Okay.
You'd think I'd stop making the same mistakes over and over, but... Oh man, those meaty O's. It's also familiar and nostalgic. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Don't question it. Ne never question it. Now that we're finally up here, I'm a little bit tense. But hey, we've already done the boss, so... Whatever, right? <laughs> oh, now you have a moon door. Imagine getting up here and having no cards. Oh, he just he just does it, does it automatically? Okay. We don't even pretend I have a choice here. That's fine. By the way, are the little, like, colored side bars too bright? I can darken them a bit, if necessary. Oh, hello. Well, there he is. He's kind of showing up out of nowhere in the second stage, aren't you? Well, third, sp third to be specific. Miserable worm, upstart weakling. All who oppose the Dark Lord must die. There... They're having a staring contest right now. Come, meet your doom. He, d he doesn't say anything. Why doesn't he say anything? Oh. This part was voice acted in Castlevania 64. Weird how they took a step back there. That is weird. Did all the stuff they added not leave room for that? I mean, that is a big moment where Dracula and the Belmont once again meet. You'd think that would really benefit from a voice, uh, from some voice acting, if any scene in the game would. Well, hey, I guess they can do whatever they want. Ow. But you can do whatever you want. There you go. Yeah, so I'm not sure if there will be more streams later this week. I'm gonna... I usually try to go for a second one, but... Tomorrow's uh, gonna be tough and... Lord knows what's gonna happen on Thursday. Friday is my birthday, so I wanna kinda take it easy. Uh, there was a time, I'm not sure if it was last year or two years ago, where I decided to stream on my birthday because I got bored near the end of it. And I tried to stream Mega Man 2, except it didn't, like, my connection kept dying every few seconds. Because I was still on the Wi-Fi then. It was an altogether really unfortunate experience. I shouldn't have even tried. And there's no risk of bad for a bad uh, connections this time, but maybe I'll just not stream on my birthday. I also should be careful not to pick up anything to replace the double cross here. So 
So what is the plural of a Cerberus anyway? Cerberi? Cerberuses? Well, regardless, there were some of those here. Oh. Very dark. They just... The dogs start coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. If I'm gonna keep making that reference, I might as well just... Uh, get a sound clip of that ready to play. There are streamers who have like, uh, like all these clips ready to play at any time. <laughs> That's kind of enjoyable, but... You know what I wonder? Okay, I guess not then. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it wasn't spoken, but I'm guessing you understand what I was thinking. I was wondering if I could press the buttons on the graves, but I can't, so that puzzle is not the same, in conclusion. You did say that things would start to change quite a bit once we were here, and we're here now, so let's... let's see. Also, my throat is apparently exploding. That's uh, a problem. Our first order of business is to speak to the mother again, I guess. Let's see if her husband is... The door is locked from the other side, it is the servant's entrance. Right. Okay, this guy is the same in every playthrough so far, I guess. Just crawls over the wall. With his big teeth. Okay, the gun was definitely better here. Oh, but maybe it's also because it's around midnight that he's way harder. I must have come here and like in broad daylight as uh, Henry. This is the first one that's completely different, you think? Okay. I'll keep an eye out for all the changes. I'm kind of puzzled by the fact that uh, Reinhardt doesn't talk, though. Like, Dracula just comes up to him and says... You will... You will die. And he's just like... A carefully tended garden filled with the fragrance of roses. Okay, so we can't pick up the rose here either. I'm just checking all the things that are different. Go back in there, in there now that it's 3 a.m. Oh. Thanks for the tip. That's probably good. Oh, hey. Hello. Are you a vampire now? <laughs> Just stand there. Looking at each other's uh, grainy textures. I wish to water the roses. Please step aside. Who are you? Oh, he talks. What are you doing here? I am Rosa. I look after these white roses. I mean, uh, they're kind of red. White roses? With blood? Oh, dear. You... You are a vampire? 
Why have you no fear? None but vampires and demons live here. Wandering carelessly in this place will soon cost you your life. I cannot disobey my father's teaching to never attack the weak. Such sentimentality will cost your life. This is a very weird conversation. I will, for I will forgot forget I saw you. Flee now. The destiny of my blood means I must destroy Dracula. As you will. First you must go to the castle archives. The key to the archives. Ah, yes. A previous adventurer took it. Hey Sazabi, welcome to the stream. Well, I can help you no more. Do not lose your life too quickly, Rosa says. You're a weird one, Rosa. Oh, it just disappears. Okay, then. Makes sense. <laughs> that was fascinating. Uh, but yes, Asabi, this is the uh, the infamous Castlevania 64, although it is the improved release, so the Legacy of Darkness version, which has some problems uh, fixed and some more stuff in it, so it's not so it's not so bad. I've actually been having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> I'm not sure what that scare court was necessary for, but sure. Okay, yes, but... But he's... Why are we... Okay. Don't move! Not even a finger! Alright, you appear to be a genuine human. I am Charlie Vincent, the mightiest of all vampire killers. You look like a villager. Are you lost in the forest? I am Reinhard Schneider. I have come to destroy Dracula. Don't talk nonsense. Leave Dracula to me. He is not the sort of opponent for an amateur like you. A vampire is not a foe to be taken lightly. I advise you to flee to safety now. Obstinate youth, I will give you one more warning. Leave this place without delay. Do you understand? I like how he has garlic and a steak. The key to the archives? Ah, that must be the key I found in the rose garden. My intuition tells me it is worthless. Take it if you wish. Similar thing happened to me. When I entered the garden, a giant suddenly attacked me. I couldn't believe it. However hard I fought, I couldn't harm him. He was invincible. I don't frighten easily, but my blood ran cold. Wait, so did he give me the key? It seemed like it. Okay, yes, he gave me the key. But yeah, basically, it's the original game with more stuff, some fixes, um, some anti-frustration stuff, basically, if I understand it correctly. So I've been giving it a good old try, and it's, you know, it's not so bad. Although some of the infamous stuff, like the uh, the part where you need to carry like exploding chemicals, we haven't gotten there yet, so who knows? I might yet lose my patience, but so far I've been able to uh, to manage. And how are you doing today? Very good. The storeroom has a save point, right? I'm just gonna... Yes, yeah, very good. Very good. Oh, 
I almost replaced my uh, precious holy water, uh, precious cross there with holy water. So I'm guessing we will meet the demon in this room as we did last time. By picking up the contract. Yep. This is the same so far. <laughs> there he is again. <laughs> yeah, that's the same. One needs gold even in hell these days. <laughs> that's a good line. Right, so it was mentioned you can actually um, get some sort of special ending with him by spending a lot of money. So I'm just going to spend all my money all the time on him. Okay, and there we go. That's 6,000 spent so far. Oh, I can actually go into the archive, so it probably wouldn't be a good idea to leave yet. Let's actually get to the archives first before we do anything rash. Yeah, it makes me want Rosa was Rosa the wife of the uh, the Lord of the Castle? I don't think she was. So who is she? In spite of the fact that she's a vampire, she doesn't seem to be particularly hostile. Oh hey, a cutscene. Help! This place swarms with demons. You have entered the castle of hell. What's the matter? <laughs> what has happened? If you value your life, comma, you will flee this place now. Welp. Did I just get jump scared by a Castlevania game? <laughs> it's not different from the usual adventure. Come to me, I will taste your blood. You know, I was talking about the whole vampires not being visible in mirrors thing. And Cornell's, uh, in Cornell's adventure, and uh, it never came up there, but it definitely came up here. Just it just took a while. Can't I pick this up? It's lying right there on the ground.
Well, whatever. Wait a minute, isn't the archive like a room beyond this one? Better double check that. It is, okay. Sometimes my memory can actually function properly. It's a rare occasion, but it does happen. Okay, so his log, his little book here isn't uh, isn't here anymore, because there's n there isn't the same puzzle. Garden key. Okay. Not sure how exactly it will let us go to the garden, but that's fine. Any key is a good key. Even a minor key. So we need to find our way to the garden now, I guess. Um, we came out there at one point, but... This is not the garden. This is just the front, the, like the front lawn. <laughs> they want us to go into the hedge maze, I think. Not really looking forward to that, but... What can you do? Okay. I think I have a vague idea of where I'm supposed to go now. I'm sorry, can we not do this? Okay, thank you. <laughs> the camera was really struggling there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we need to go back to where we met uh, Renan and uh, go outside through there. Okay, so I should be able to open this then. Yes. Very good. Okay, let's try to be a bit systematic about this. There's way too many paths though. There's something in that there bush. Who's there? Please help me. Malice. Malice. What is a child doing in this place? I am Reinhardt. You're safe. I am a friend. My name is Malice. That sounds malicious. Why are you all alone in this fearful place? They burnt the village. My home. My mother and father too. That's unfortunate. That's terrible. He took all the children to the castle. The devil in the black cloak was looking for a certain child. And then... My head hurts. I can't remember. It's alright. You don't have to talk. Oh hey, stone dogs. That's interesting. Oh, 
Arg. Malus, wait, don't leave me. Oh, <laughs> there was a roast chicken where he was hiding, of course. Now we know why he picked that hiding spot. Welp, that didn't go so well. <laughs> Dead, yes. Now, now we know these two scumbags are gonna follow us. We need to we we'll just nip that problem in the bud and kill them right now, but we can't. So yeah, Malice, don't know about that, don't know about that. I find the whole situation slightly suspect, but maybe I'm just too cynical. Okay, can you not? I'll just have some roast beef while you're waiting. Alright, so we're following the kid. Okay, so these two are helping the... Uh, helping the uh, chainsaw man. I didn't see the direction he was going in. Oh, he went under there. Well, now we finally know why this place is a small gap here. It's so that the kid can uh, escape us there. Can you two stop? I have no time for your shenanigans, stone dogs. And I don't have any time for you either, Frank. I hate how you're completely stuck for a while when you do that. It's quite bothersome, to be honest. Okay, so this is where we last saw him. Yes, of course. Stun me and then do huge damage. Did not want the holy water, but sure. No. I'll be honest with you, I don't really like this segment. <laughs> Oh, did I have battle view on? That happened accidentally. Whoops. Whoops. Well. So this is the uh, this campaign's variation of the escort mission. Instead of uh, escorting 
the kid, the kid escorts you. And by escort, I mean runs away screaming, sicking stone dogs and Frankenstein on you for no reason. Dogs are easy to uh, stop in their tracks, but they get up so fast. Whereas uh, Frank over here takes a good few hits, but also stays down for longer. Basically, they're both uniquely irritating. I like how he awkwardly stands there when you... Uh Okay, let's try to get there quickly this time. Okay, yes, just combo attack me. If you could not, that would be very good. <laughs> yeah, I was making it even worse for myself by using uh, Battle View back there. Did you see me dodge him like a pro there? I have no idea where he went though, the kid. Oh, there he is. <laughs> well, speak of the devil. Did he go here? He did. <laughs> Trigger the cutscene. Oh, he's act we're actually bringing him to the same place, or rather, he is bringing us to the same place. Wait, is it a he or a she? I'm not sure. Malice just seemed like a masculine name to me, but. You've come this far. Once you're through the forest, you're safe. You're a man, you can do it. <laughs> okay, so he's male, okay. He doesn't really talk very much though, does he? Well, that's all very nice, but I'm not sure where it got us. Maybe it just made something appear in the stage. I've never been a big fan of that kind of progression, you know, you uh, you have activated something elsewhere. It's one thing for games where you can rapidly switch locations, but in games where you have to actually walk from place to place, that's a bit rough. Oh, okay, we just randomly found the copper key. Okay, well, I guess there's a quick way to get back here, but... Copper key. 
It's not for anything in the house, is it? It's for one of the uh, places in the maze, isn't it? In this many years and still they have Frankensteins with chains or arms in this maze. You'd think they'd call someone to clean it up. Also, I wonder what the deal was with, with uh, Malice. So what, can we just leave the stage now that we've done that? Because I vaguely recall the copper key being the one to open like the final segment of the stage. But maybe I'm way off base there. I guess we'll see. Oh, but in the other playthrough we needed like the two halves of that family thing, symbol. Like two parts of a stone tablet basically. Do we not need that here? It doesn't look like it. Hi. You all right? Very rude to interrupt someone who is enjoying his meal. I will kill you here. Okay then. You can try, but... Also, this poor woman is dead then. Okay, you can absolutely let go now if you want. Oh, my status is vampire now? Is that how it works? I've never seen that status before. That was easy to fix. Wow. Maybe we should let him... Oh! Vamp uh, uh, prevents you from using your main weapon and you will die the next time the clock hits midnight. I see. Okay. That's good to know. I mean, I, w I noticed the main weapon thing, but yeah, dying at midnight, that would have been awkward. Okay, so... Down it goes. Cannot be. Hi, oh, a vampire defeated by a human. 
Oh. Wow. That's double boss battle though. Okay, you can stop now. I'm already a vampire. Let's go. The way she runs her own is weird, but kind of unnerving too. Or it would be if it wasn't so hilarious. How come the the, the like the the person he just turned into a vampire is so much more powerful than him? How does that make sense? Like this woman just became a vampire and already she's better at it than he was. I don't like how much she heals from this. This is kind of mean, honestly. Yeah, we never even saw the vampire status for Cornell. Maybe he couldn't get it because he's a lycanthrope. So, you know, his blood is already cursed. You can break faster with massive amounts of button spam and stick wiggling. Okay, I was kind of trying that, but maybe I wasn't do. Uh, well, no stick wiggling. Now that, now that I think about it, I was just kind of tapping A really hard. <laughs> Okay, anyway. That was pretty interesting. That's a few times now they've actually tried to startle me with, like, vampire faces. Cornell's playthrough wasn't nearly as scary. Tunnel. Okay, here we are. The tunnel. Well, I hate to cut this short, but today was a pretty tough day, and the rest of the week might be as well. <laughs> Lord knows. So, um, we finished Henry's campaign, and uh, we made a good start on Reinhardt, so next time we're gonna pick that back up. Um, we might not finish it next stream, but definitely the one after, and then we'll move on to the final campaign, and uh, wow, we're going through it pretty quickly. So yeah, that was a another pretty fun steam, uh, steam, stream. I had some trouble, I feel like I had some trouble getting started, like at the very start. But once I got the rhythm going, it went uh, pretty well again. I'm glad to have made some serious progress and I'm looking forward to continuing as well. So uh, thanks of course to Clive for stopping by and for your, uh, for your help. And thanks to Sazabi of course, who also uh, stopped by, wait, I did save, right? Yeah, so I would normally do like a raid at this point, but it's not really any point, I don't think. Don't think many other people are streaming anything but E3-ish uh, stuff. Well, I guess the... I'm just babbling on at this point. So, uh, thanks to everyone for stopping by. It's much appreciated. Also, I wanted to do a thing, so I'm stalling for, uh, for time right now.
Okay, now I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna do a raid this time. We only have three viewers, so... Hey, thanks to everyone. Oh, and of course, thanks to Invader Tech for stopping by as well. Almost forgot you, almost forgot you. Good thing you said something. <laughs> thanks to you for stopping by as well, and I'll catch you all next time. Um, Stay tuned. We might do another stream this week, and otherwise well, you'll see me again on Tuesday, as always. So, bye-bye.